Are American airports stuck in the past? Compared to the rest of the world, flying into an American airport can feel like a trip back in time with outdated facilities and technology. So what can be done? Join us as we dive into the issues facing American airports and explore potential solutions for a modern and efficient air transportation system. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Flying into an American airport feels like traveling back in time. The airports are old school, with ancient technology and rules that make you scratch your head. The United States was where aviation was born, and their pilots and planes used to be the bee's knees. However, things have changed, and now they're not that great. According to a survey of execs, the US is only the 30th best country when it comes to air infrastructure, and we're being charged way too much for tickets and airport stuff. We're ranked 127th for that. As if that wasn't enough, we're also ranked 131st for carbon dioxide emissions per person. It's not just bad now, but things could get even worse if we don't invest in aviation. The American Society of Civil Engineers, they know their stuff, says that if we don't start spending money on aviation, we're looking at a massive loss of $313 billion by 2020. That's a lot of dough. And if we still don't get our act together by 2040, we could be facing a total loss of $1.52 trillion. Can you imagine? There are a ton of issues with our aviation system that we need to fix. For starters, our skies are so crowded it's insane. Then there's the problem of airlines always trying to undercut each other, which means they're not making much money. And that leads to airports fighting for business, which creates a mess because some places get too crowded while others are left empty. We also have outdated facilities on the ground, not enough ways to connect with trains, and we're using too much fuel and polluting the air. Plus, we're really slow to adopt new technology, and we're stuck relying on old agreements to get into foreign markets. It's a mess, and we need to do something about it ASAP. The US is falling behind on everything, even on the cargo side. Hong Kong has taken over Memphis as the world's top air cargo hub. That's like the new kid in class taking the coolest kid's seat. International travelers make up 11% of all US airline passengers, and they spend a lot of money, more than $116 billion directly and another billion indirectly every year. But are they getting the service they deserve? Apparently not, because the World Economic Forum ranked the US 121st out of 180 countries when it comes to the burden of our visa requirements. Ouch! We have many major airports in America, but not many are up to par with today's global standards. In fact, in a survey of over 12 million passengers in 2013, no American airport made it into the top 25. That's like not even getting an honorable mention in the yearbook. Only four airports made it into the top 50. Meanwhile, countries in the Middle East and East Asia are building these awesome tech-savvy airports with all the bells and whistles while we're still stuck on the basics like infrastructure. It's like they're driving a Tesla and we're riding a bike. To make things worse, some US airports don't even have a single communication network that everyone can use. It's like trying to talk to someone in a crowded room with a bad connection. And in emergencies, the cell phone systems can get overloaded. It's like trying to call your crush on Valentine's Day when everyone else is also trying to make a call. Have you ever noticed how getting to some airports in the US can be such a hassle? It's not uncommon for local authorities to prioritize things like retail sales and real estate near airport facilities, rather than focusing on improving passenger mobility and intermodal efficiency. As a result, reaching our largest airports such as those in New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago can be a real headache. Unlike some other countries that have direct train connections to their airports, we're left to deal with congested highways and unreliable public transportation. It's a stark contrast to cities like Hong Kong, which boasts a brand new high-speed rail system with fully integrated baggage check-in downtown. Wouldn't it be great if we had more options like that here? Although the aviation industry has accomplished the remarkable feat of lifting millions of pounds of cargo, fuel, aluminum, and passengers 35,000 feet into the air, it is currently in dire need of modernization. Ticket agents often have to navigate software that was written in the early 1960s, requiring them to have some coding skills. In contrast, the cockpit controls of many aircraft appear outdated when compared to the sleek iPads that passengers are using. By upgrading its technology, the aviation industry can benefit from increased information and improved decision making. By empowering pilots with advanced technology and real-time information, they can provide passengers with better experiences and minimize delays, ultimately reducing costs. 
For example, according to the FAA, two-thirds of weather-related delays could be avoided through better real-time decision-making. Improving weather forecasting for the aviation industry can have a significant impact on reducing costs and improving efficiency. By having better information about weather conditions, airlines can predict airspace availability, route availability, and potential delays or diversions. This allows for more accurate fuel planning and better anticipation of ground holds, de-icing needs, and changes in capacity. The costs associated with delays, diversions, and tarmac risks can add up quickly. For example, fuel burn during taxing can cost around $25 per minute, while diversions can range from $15,000 to $100,000 per aircraft. In addition, the FAA can impose penalties of up to $27,500 per passenger for tarmac delays. These costs can add up to millions of dollars on a full flight. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has approved the use of iPads in the cockpit, and airlines are exploring glide path landing to reduce fuel consumption and noise during descents. However, the bureaucratic regulatory approval process can often be a barrier to progress. To accelerate the adoption of new and better technologies, modernized oversight is needed. Industry associations have called for a national strategy to improve America's air transportation system for everyone who uses it. Imagine flying with pilots who are empowered by technology to make better decisions for passengers. Envision the next generation of air traffic control, providing multiple benefits, including greater safety, lower costs, fewer delays, lower carbon emissions, and seamless connections. To achieve these goals, America's air traffic control entity needs to be independent of the short-term congressional budget cycle. The FAA and Department of Transportation should collaborate to accelerate the adoption of promising technologies. Reducing flight delays is not enough if there are significant delays in getting to and from airports with subpar facilities. American institutions often operate in silos while airlines fly above them. However, if the American public demands an upgraded national air strategy, it is possible to achieve. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and eye opening. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.